didi tv to mi je to mi je loju lawon eyan se daro leyin igba ti ikupa eni ti se ogagba ile ifuwopa mo access bank ilojude iyen about wigwe iyawe atome ti won ku ni fona fonsu ninu ijamba oko helicopter ti won pe ni balu o ma se o awon eyan ti bere si fedu okan won han ni bi won tin daro ti won si yo mi loju poroporo eni ti se pa yun olura lowo pataki fun gbigbe papa leni ta ba ma pe ni ori yomi eru yomi tabi eru gba mi la o salaye pe o se lo ni ko unse amojuto fun eru oga ohun nitori pe bo nba ba won wo ko furufu na gbeyin gbeyin ohun oni lati duro tititi won fi fi oko gbe eru na de lo nba pinu pe oga mi eyin e ma lo lori ofurufu eje mi o wo ko le wa kin le moju teru kin de teru teru lo ga na ba pe osan o dara be eyi ni o je ko wa lara awon to ku ninu ijamba oko balu na ewe bi tin so mi loju lo salaye oro yi pe ohun kan wo pe ko ma so pe igbadun lo hun fe gba pelu oga ohun lo hun se je ki oro ise ohun se pataki lati boju tu eru oga to won fi ba won woko o ma se o o didi mo le bi ye lo be igba keji arun ile de ni ya tele ri ojo gbe ni o se ma gbe na ma soro ni bi daru the former vice president of the federal republic of nigeria who also is a very good friend of Dr. Herbert Wigwe. Please welcome with me Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, first let me begin by saying uh, to members of the Wigwe and Uwoba families, especially the children, Tochi, David, and Okachi, let me say that I'm very mindful that no amount of words or even action can assuage the intensity of your sorrow. Nor can words or even actions today heal your wounded hearts. We can only hope that it helps for you to know that you are not alone in your grief and that this tragedy has broken the hearts of so many I'm sure you've seen that this is not just a national tragedy, but across Africa and many parts of the world, many are grieving the loss of a true friend, a hope bringer, and a man for whom the future always seemed so imminent. That all across this land and elsewhere, many have been weeping with you. This tragedy has troubled so many, young and old. Herbert's friends, associates, Doreen's circle of friends and associates of so many years, Cheese's friends, a deep dark cloud hangs over our hearts. We've heard so much about Herbert's life and times exemplary life and times. I've known him for so many years. I'm not even so sure how many years. While I was in office for the entire eight years that I was in office, Hubbard called me 
practically every other month just to say how are you doing never asked a favor but two months before I left office he called me and said he needed to see me and I thought well he must have some some mission and he came with a notebook. I was very surprised because Herbert ever, never ever came with a notebook. And he said he wanted to know what my plans were for the future after I left office. And after I laughed over it, he insisted. And he took notes very diligently of everything that I said I wanted to do. And thereafter, he visited me at least no less than three or four times before I left office. The first day before he died, that was a week before he died, he called me up, he had called me on Tuesday and said he was coming to see me in Abuja on Thursday, and he did. We spent about three hours reviewing practically everything, so many different things. The university, the philanthropies he was involved in, and various other things. I don't think any event in recent times has so, for me in particular, so jarred, made it clear how important friendship and how important our relationships are. Herbert, who, Herbert was someone who walked the talk of brotherhood and friendship. It wasn't just rhetoric, it wasn't just talk. He walked that talk. He was there for his friends, there for his associates, and we've heard how deeply, deeply he cared for his family. This event has confronted me, and I'm sure many of us, with our own mortality. All the plans we make and the future that we envisage. Well, three things that I'd like you to know, especially true. The first is that as far as God is concerned, and I'm so happy that Mrs. Awushika mentioned this, the manner of death is not important to God. John was beheaded, as we've heard. Stephen was stoned to death. Elisha died of an undisclosed illness. What is important to God is the difference between dying and perishing. The difference between dying and perishing. Everyone will die. Every one of us will die and will confront our maker. What the word of God says in John 3.16, he says, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, will not perish, but have everlasting life. Not will not die, but will not perish. Perishing is dying without Christ. And the manner of death does not matter as far as whether we die or perish. There's a scripture that came to my mind as I was asked to share, to, to, as I was asked to uh, speak this morning. This scripture is found in Luke 13. Jesus Christ was by people who had heard that a tower collapsed in Siloam and it killed 18 people. 18 people were killed. A tower collapsed fell on the heads of people. And the same people who told him the story also said that just a few days ago, Herod caught some Jews, sliced them into some Galileans, sliced them into little pieces and mixed their blood with the sacrifice. And Jesus expressed his opinion about the matter. He said, all of these people who died, the ones upon whom the tower collapsed, or even the ones who were sliced into pieces and their blood was mixed in the sacrifice, that 
None of them was worse than any other person, was a worse sinner than any other person. Said, oh, you know, none of them. That, you, that the reason why they died in those gruesome circumstances was that they did something wrong. He said, no. He said, but what was important is, and he was saying now to the living, that you must repent. That you must repent. That if you don't repent, you may perish. And I pray that all of us who are here, I pray that all of us who are here, will consider that as far as God is concerned, the moment and time of our death or the manner is entirely left to him. What is crucial is our, is our lives eternally. And what matters to him is our lives eternally. Finally, I'll pray. The word of God says that weeping may endure for a night, but that joy comes in the morning. I pray for you that this night will be very short and that the joy will come very quickly. Lord bless you. Top Farm Foods. O shara lori. Yam fla. Iye fun shugidi. On ripe planting fla. Elubo gede agbagba. Beans fla. Ere igbere fun. Rice fla. Ire si oni ye fun ta fin rotuo. Yellow pap. Ogi kupa oni igbere fun. Gari je puto kanda da. Tofi duri smoked catfish. E jaro gbibbe. Labe imo toto. Ni Top Farm mu shi gbibbe. O si shi dede biki bilagba ye. Non ni wong ji wong 1kg. 2kg. 5kg. Top Farm Foods. Non gu yi wong bayi. Tun ti on ten naf dak lara wong. Besini. 100% natural. La shi gbibbe. Jade, la ti le she top farm for so kale si industrial development center high dc ibeshi road ikorudu lagos nigeria ahungwa alagbata taki jadori le di nigeria so fiduri a wang african stores ile ta jahun jele wa loki okon ekbe 0706 216 6771 tabi 0802 721 website www.tff.com.ng top farm for think ford think us Yoruba Gidi TV Yoruba Gidi TV Oni ke ma woni gba gbogbo e foju yin lo nje nibi te ti le kogban nibi te ti le ri awon asa Yoruba to yanju Yoruba Gidi TV un lo mu eto rere wa le aye nibi te gbe fe kogban nibi te gbe fe korin Yoruba Gidi TV un lo n pe yin ke ma woni gba gbogbo Yoruba Gidi TV Ita ati fo yin lawo nkan te fe awon nkan to sanfani to ye ke ma wo ni gba gbogbo ni gba kigba ipele wa yi ma subscribe si subscribe subscribe te subscribe si yoruba gidi tv